come thrifting with me. Today I am going thrifting specifically for May Day basket items. Delivering May Day baskets is something the kids and I have done for years. I try to change them up every year and so I had some ideas on how to incorporate thrifting and vintage vibes with this year's May Day baskets. I usually try and find some type of little container to put items in. This year I thought it might be cute to use a vintage coffee cup. So of course I had to grab a cart. I loved the color of this but when I flipped it over it was Mainstays which is a Walmart brand so I want to continue to look for vintage. I really liked this one. It's kind of a creamy color and floral so I grabbed that. While I do love this Corel one, these were mass produced, so I would really like to find something more, um, I guess, unique, but uh, I was thinking on it. That blue one, gorgeous, absolutely. I put the Corel one in there a few times, and it just kept sliding down with the others, so I took it as a sign. It, meant to, it was meant to go with me. There's another floral one. Some were 50 cents, some were a dollar. Um, I, I spend at least a dollar on containers from the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. So this was actually a really good deal and I think a cuter idea. I went to the other side to see what they had on the other side of the coffee cups. I knew I needed at least 10 mugs and so I was getting a little concerned I might not find all of them. That chicken one will go perfect to my mom. It's a little less springy but I still love it. This one I also love, this 1992 kind of Saved by the Bell-esque uh, decoration. But it wasn't springy so I put it back. I thought this carrots mug could be kind of fun. It's very unique, very interesting looking. Um, it just was $2 and I just wasn't ready to spend that. So I thought I might continue to look for more floral designs and then come back to it if I couldn't find anything. I really liked this one, but there was a set of six and I didn't want to split them up and I didn't want all six. So I left it. So with six in my cart, I decided to look a few other places. I happened upon this set, which I had never seen before, and I liked it, and of course I did. It was Avon. I really like the two floral ones more than the swirls, but it was being sold as a set, and it was $2.50 for all four, which is a great deal. So I, of course, went ahead and got all four of them. This put me at 10, which is kind of the number I was shooting for, but sometimes I do need one or two extra, and so I thought I would open up to finding another one. And when I saw this little picture, I had to get it. It's just so May Day. And now I'm just going to have to try and figure out who gets this special one. It might be able to hold more treats too, because it's a little bit bigger. Next, I want to put some type of liner in it. I have a lot of vintage handkerchiefs that I plan on using, but I also wanted to look at the doilies and cloth napkins and then see if they had any additional handkerchiefs. This is all white and I'd really like to stay away from all white because my mugs are white but that had a little butterfly on it and I thought that that would go perfect with some of the flowers. And it was only a dollar so I went ahead and got it. In the handkerchief doily area I was looking at some of the colored doilies. They had some really cute ones but they are typically a little bit more expensive when they have color on them and I was really trying to stick to a dollar or less. And like I said, I do have some vintage handkerchiefs at home, so I don't need a ton. They did have some handkerchiefs, but they were all white, as well as these really cute cloth napkins. Again, all white, so I kept looking. All of these cloth napkins were really cute. Um, none of them were real unique. I did like the ones with the pink edge, but all of them were very thick, and I was worried that it would be too much in the coffee cup. I did check out the fake flowers, but all of them were a dollar or more, and I feel like I can get better ones maybe at, you know, family dollars, so I passed. So for the first stop, I spent $11.72. There's still a few items that I need, so let's go to the next store and hope that we can find them. So at the second store, I definitely need to continue looking for flowers and cloth. I like to continue putting flowers in there because it really lends itself to the May Day feel. But fake flowers are difficult because some look really bad. Their selection had been picked over tremendously. I did like this little orange one, so I went ahead and grabbed it even though there was only one. And then I moved on to the linens. First, I looked at the wash rags to see if there was any kind of vintage look and didn't have any luck, so I moved on to the handkerchiefs. Again, a lot of white options. I did see this little checkered bag, and I thought it might look cute with the chicken because it's kind of farmy. But I went ahead and dug to this gold uh, handkerchief that I just think is so cute. I hope it matches, but I went ahead and got it. And then I kept trying to decide if I liked this or not for that chicken mug. It was only 25 cents, so I decided to go ahead and get it and try it. 
I then looked in their cloth napkins and I thought this set was so cute. It would really work in some of them, but they were selling them in big packs and I didn't need that many. And not for May Day, but for my game room, maybe I need these cloth napkins. They're only 75 cents. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Just not for May Day. Some of their cloth napkins were homemade and some felt more like handkerchiefs. I was really liking some of these designs. I was going to go to the car and see what my coffee cups looked like again so I could find cloth that matched, but they were about to close and I didn't have time. So luckily they were just so cheap that I felt comfortable buying different colors and then trying to figure it out later. I have been getting into using linens for uh, tissue paper instead of tissue paper for gifts. And so if I have some extras, I'm not too concerned about it because I will use it to wrap gifts with. And again, these prices are just really great. So after trying to find the most unique and vintage looking ones, um, I went ahead and threw those into my cart. I'm a little concerned with more of the bolder colors that they're going to work, but I will try and figure that out later. They did have this tub of hot pan holders and dish towels. Some of them I could tell are synthetic and are not going to actually work as hot pan holders, but they would be cute. Um, they're just a little thick. So I chose one to just try it out. I've seen this before and I was glad to see it still here because this is an option for me. They are paper flowers. I think they're super cute. $3.50 for all of them. So I had the idea of what if I just took them out and then I put one in each of my coffee cups. It's a little messy on the bottom where it had been glued in, but I think it will work for what I want. So I went ahead and chose to get this whole thing and separated it out. Plus it comes with this cute little box. So for my second trip, I spent $10.48. I'm really excited about these finds. So I have my cups, I have my flowers, I have the lining I'm going to put in the bottom of it. I already have ribbon at home, I already have some handkerchiefs at home, and so now I just need to make some muffins. Stick around and check the page out because I will put it all together and I will show you what they look like. Thanks guys!